Very welcome back to Eye Candy. I know it's been a long time since we had our last interview, but I'm very pleased to have one of our latest signings, Tommy Stewart, with us tonight for uh, his interview. So, Tommy, you're very welcome. There's nothing untoward about these interviews, so just relax and take your time and get on it, and you'll see as you go along through all the questions and all that, there's nothing hidden, nothing. It's just the supporters putting across their views and asking questions that they would like you to answer. So, obviously with the Lumfield connections, there's a lot of questions, etc. So we'll get through, we'll get them out of the way first. Uh, the first question tonight is, what did you feel like after Derry gave Lumfield a football lesson in the roundabout? I was very happy. Um, obviously, I was happy at the very, very start when I you know, played for Lumfield against Derry because... You know, they're they a big team. You, you know, you had the Razor game to play against them, and they, you know, when I came to Derry, you know, being a part of Derry now, I wanted to get one over Linfield again. You know, it was a very good match and very convincing win. Uh, did David Jeffrey refer to us as Derry City or London Derry City? <laughs> um, Derry City, Derry City Football Club. Yeah. What was it like playing in a half empty Windsor Park? Did you not feel it was void of atmosphere? Hey, no, 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 hey. It was strange with one one side of it being so empty with you know the away support, but um, you know there was there were two stands that were you know always well represented. Aye, what about when we came up? Were you surprised at the numbers we brought up? Now? It was terrific. Um, I don't think there's been as much of a crowd in any match during the season than you know a cup final or you know a big semi final or the big two mm -hmm. with Glen Torn and Linfield. So it was you know it was fantastic support. And, uh, there was a really loud atmosphere there. Good stuff. Are there any Lumfield players you think could make a big difference to the Derry squad if they were signed? Yeah, there's there's very good players, you know, uh, in that team, and um, you know, there's a lot of the full time players. You know, they're all good footballers. You know, there's boys that have been across the water as such, and um, you know, if it was to name anybody, probably the likes of you know Alan Manis, Michael Galt, uh, would be two that would be, you know, uh, able you know, able to do a job. Not Glenn Ferguson, he's about to overhaul now. Well, I don't know if he's full time, but <laughs> he can still do a job. Uh, are there any Irish league players outside of the big two that you would rate highly? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think there's there's quality throughout the league. Um, you got to look at the likes of maybe even the big the the top four teams. You know, you've got Gary Hamilton, Daryl Fordyce, Shane McCabe, um, guys that have uh, appeared even on Sky Sports recently uh, in the league matches. You know, always giving a good account of themselves. Uh, George McMullen of Cliftonville, uh, the two Scannells. Uh, I'd say there's a good, a good few elite players in that league. You know, at different various clubs. You know. Does Stephen Kenny ever ask you on your opinion of these Irish league players? No, he. Uh, I don't know. He hasn't. But um, I don't think he, he would anyway. But if he did, I don't know how much uh, of an influence I could make. He really unearthed the gem with Neil McGinn last season. Like you know, he sort of plucked him from obscurity, and now look at him. He's, we're, we're interviewing this to doing this interview tonight and tomorrow night. Niles, hopefully, and the squad for the the Northern Ireland match. Like. It's fantastic. Yeah, I think Niall has his feet firmly on the ground, which is the main thing. But um, he's a talented lad, and he can only get better. I feel since he's come to Derry, you know, he's made a step up. Definitely, in my opinion, and his opinion too. And you know, it's it's proven at the minute. You know, and hopefully, he can go on to greater things. Uh, how would the management styles of Stephen Kenny and David Jeffries differ? Um, I think I think Stephen's uh, a more quieter man, more uh, seem to be a bit more laid back, maybe. But uh, don't get me wrong, he's, he's definitely firm in, in any tactics and, and the way he gets about things. Um, he might be seen as a big uh, orchestrator during the match, maybe, whereas David Jeffrey is, you know, and pumps his players up that way. But um, all in all, they're both two very good managers and very top managers at their clubs. And uh, I think you know now with Stephen, you know, there's, he, he loves the game and he wants everyone to, to play football the way he likes it. Was there much of a change moving to a, well, in the words of one of our supporters, a proper full time setup at Derry with full time coaches compared to the setup at Lanfield? Hey, there is a difference. I've noticed it. Um, I think it's easier with a full. Team, 23, 24 players in every day, you know, there's different various things you can do, you know, whereas you can you know, even play different matches against each other. More variety and it keeps everybody fresh and uh, that's that's what I like about it and that's what I was used to when I was across, uh, across the water. Okay. Uh, 
somebody's asked, asked Tommy to give his honest opinions on Derry City before he knew that Derry City were interested in him. Hey, to be honest, I didn't know a lot about Linfield or Derry before uh, I came back from from England. But um, you know, since uh, since I've been there, you know, I knew a lot about Derry. Being with Linfield, any time we played Satanta, you know, it was big. Uh, it was a very big game, you know, and you knew there was a lot of uh, talented players in the in the Aircom League. So, uh, finally, once I got here, I've seen it's uh, stronger and stronger even since. You know, I've I've noticed uh, players that I wouldn't have. I uh, knew their names now, but um, definitely it's it's a it's a good league and it's uh, still uh, growing. Did you have any fears leaving the Blues? They come, did you? No, uh, I've had a lot of people say that to me, but uh, it's I don't know. It's, it's football's football, you know, and it's it's. You know, there's no religion on it, you know. Right? Uh, how did the Lumfield players view the Derry games? Did they realise how big and important the games between the teams, the two teams, are given the history from years ago when Derry's involvement in the Irish League? Say. Uh, nah, not so much. Um, no, I think more and more just the fact that they knew they were, they were coming against a big team, a strong team, physical team, and a good football inside. You know, so it's going to be a, a, a you know a heck of a match. You know, so you've got to be you know on your game. So regardless of anything else that goes on behind the scenes, you know, first and foremost, you've got to get over that white line and perform. Uh, your reason, according to the press, for leaving Lunfield was for regular first team football. How do you feel about sitting on the bench at Derry? <laughs> oh well, nobody likes the bench, I'm not going to lie to you, I, I hate the bench, but um, you know, there's things you learn even sitting on the bench, you know, and uh, the two managers are two different uh, types of people, but um, I knew the season was going to be about uh, giving my best because I didn't have a pre-season, I've come straight in from, uh, from you know, Northam, just in the, straight into matches, so I've had to prepare myself as best as possible, but um, you know, when I'm Delighted to have made whatever appearances and got whatever goals I've got at the minute. You know, I think that's been good, and uh, you know, I think this last part of the season was, you know, for me to get in, you know, stick a place and you know, learn a bit more about the Aircon League, and next year will be a big year for me, hopefully. We frustrated with Big Davy continuously putting you on the wings at Lunfield. I was delighted for an opportunity to play. Uh, things are great as long as the team are winning. You know, I'll play anywhere as long as the team are winning, but. Uh, Gets more and more frustrating if, if it isn't going well because um, you know you will be the one pinpointed and you know there's not a lot you can do if you're out of position for a long period of time, and uh, but you know I'll always give my best and if I'm given a shirt you know I'll, I'll you know try and grasp it with both hands.